always told that we cannot grow new brain cells, that we are born with all the neurons we will ever have, and once those cells expire, they're gone for good. But now, researchers have found that humans continue to produce new neurons throughout their lives, at least until you're 97 years old. But it's no secret that it becomes harder to remember things as we grow old. So, if we produce new brain cells throughout our lives, then why does the brain deteriorate in old age? For the study, researchers looked at the brains of 13 deceased people who were aged between 43 and 87 years old and were neurologically healthy before their deaths. Their research was focused on the hippocampus, a part of their brain involved in memory and emotion. It is the part of the brain that you need to remember where you parked your car. When they looked at these brains, what they found surprised them. In the brains of these healthy people, researchers found newborn neurons. However, the number steadily declined with age. Between the ages of 40 and 70 years old, the number of fresh neurons spotted in the brain declined from about 40,000 to 30,000 per cubic millimeter. Researchers also observed that older brains formed fewer blood vessels and possessed a smaller pool of progenitor cells, which are the early descendants of stem cells that turn into neurons. Researchers think that the deterioration of the brain in old age could be attributed to this smaller pool of neural stem cells, reduced connectivity among cells within the hippocampus, and the decline in blood vessels. Having studied healthy brain tissue, the scientists went on to look at the brains of people who had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's before death. This time, the researchers analyzed brain tissue from 45 patients aged 52 to 97 years old. All had fresh brain cells in the hippocampus, including the 97-year-old, the oldest person in which neurogenesis has yet been seen. But while the Alzheimer's patients showed evidence of new brain cell formation, there were stark differences when compared to the healthy brains. Even in the earliest stages of the disease, their brains only had between half and three quarters as many fresh neurons as the healthy brains. In participants in the early stages of Alzheimer's, the number of new neurons forming fall from 30,000 per millimeter to 20,000 per millimeter. This decline in neurons occurred even earlier than the accumulation of amyloid beta, which is the hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. Understanding why there is a decrease in neurogenesis could lead to new treatments in both Alzheimer's and normal aging.